Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have noticed that there are many guides and tutorials about how to install Quantum Espresso in Linux. And um, back in the old days, the only way to do it is to download the source code from the official website and then compile it yourself. But the compilation process could be easy, could be difficult depending on your machine. But not many people know that if you use Ubuntu, you can actually install Quantum Espresso with only one line of command, which is the apt-get. Yeah? So in this video, I would like to show you how to do that, and this would solve the headache of many people. So first, uh, Control alt t to open the terminal. Uh, if you don't remember the command, you can just type in pw.x, and this is the main uh, program of Quantum Espresso, and it will automatically show you that, okay, you need to run this line of command to install Quantum Espresso. I will just copy and paste. Basically, sudo grants you root permission, an apt install or apt get doesn't matter and then quantum is parcel yeah now it says that it needs 520 megabytes that's okay we start uh, downloading and you see that, that that's basically it we just have to wait a little bit okay so now it is finished everything is installed for example, I just run pw.x and you see that it's, uh, it waits for the input file. Yeah? And then this is version 6.4.1, which is quite new. So basically that's it. I could show you one example calculation. So here. So first I would like to show you the input file. That is this. And this is a standard input file that calculates the hydrogen molecule and then the relaxation of hydrogen molecule with a gamma point calculation. You can find this in my GitHub and you can also find a lot of other input files there. Now let's run the calculation. So we first run the calculation with only one core. So that's the very simple way of doing it. And out, yeah. So just in a few seconds, this would finish. Okay. And then we could actually go to the output file and see every, is everything okay or not. And, um, and basically you see that everything is as usual. And this is the final atomic positions. Yeah. Okay. Now this cost 7.2 second CPU time. We could also try to use some parallelization. That is MPI run minus MP4 and see whether that works. Okay, now it's finished. We could go to the output file again. And you see that uh, indeed the CPU time is lowered by half. Yeah? Of course, it is not really linearly lowered but there is already some performance gain if you run the calculation on multiple cores. Okay, today I have shown you how to install Quantum Espresso with just one line of command in Ubuntu. This works nicely, it can work with only one core, it can also work with parallel computation on multiple CPU cores. I hope that this helps you. Thank you for watching, hope to see you next time.